Saskatchewan is known for its hot and dry summers, but hot and humid seems a little unusual. It turns out it's actually pretty normal, and part of the reason comes from crops right here in the field. As crops grow, they give off a ton of moisture. It's called evapotranspiration. All that moisture sits in the lower atmosphere, making it feel muggy, and it also helps to fuel rain showers and thunderstorms. The past few years have been really, really dry, and we know the crops haven't done really well, so they haven't been giving off this, this evapotranspiration and, and, and adding to the humidity. And scientists say we could be in for a lot more of these muggy days. That's because the planet is warming due to climate change, and warmer air can hold more moisture. Climate change also, uh, for many parts of the country, uh, is, uh, uh, is causing increased precipitation. And so those uh, warm and potentially wetter uh, events during the summer in the prairies together uh, are projected to bring increases in this Humidex index that we use. The Humidex is a measure of how hot it feels when you add humidity to the temperature. And for many of us, it was above average in July. Estevan is one location that stands out, recording several more days with Humidex values above 30, 35, and 40 when compared to the 30-year average. But wait, doesn't climate change make the prairies drier with more prolonged drought and more vicious forest fires? And that is true, but scientists say because warmer air can hold more water, rainfall events will likely be bigger. So you can get both you know, an increase in the dry season, uh, increase in the dry spells, but then when it rains, it pours. And so it sounds like these are potentially contradictory, but uh, uh, these are the kinds of changes in extremes of opposite kinds that, that climate change can, can drive. So if you want to enjoy the great outdoors this summer and beyond, keep this in mind. The best defense against extreme humidity is the same as extreme heat. So don't exercise during the hottest parts of the day. Take time in the shade or indoors if you are outside. And of course, drink plenty of water.